So as a corollary, we will prove that every space with the order topology is regular. So proof. Let x be a simply ordered set. with the order topology let x be a point in the space and let u be an open neighborhood of the point x now without loss of generality, we may assume that the open neighborhood U is a basis element, and we will denote this as the open interval from A to B. And so there are four cases. So case one, the point X is not the least element and is not the greatest element. And so there exist points U and V in the space X such that A is less than or equal to U, which is strictly less than X, which is strictly less than B, which is less than or equal to B. Notice that in this chain of inequalities, we allow for the possibility that A and B are the least and greatest elements respectively, and hence the point X is in the open interval from U to V, which is contained in its closure, which is the closed interval from U to V, which in turn is contained in the open interval from A to B. So case two, the point X is the least element, but is not the greatest element. So in this case, the basis element is the half open interval from X to B, and there exists an element V in the space X such that X is strictly less than V which is less than or equal to B. Notice that in this chain of inequalities we allow for the possibility that B is the greatest element and hence the point X is in the half open interval from X to V which is contained in its closure which is the closed interval from x to v, which in turn is contained in the half open interval from x to b. So case three, x is not the least element, and x is the greatest element. So in this case, the basis element is the half open interval from A to X and there exists there exists an element U in the space X such that A is less than or equal to U which is strictly less than X Notice that in this chain of inequalities, we allow for the possibility that A is the least element, and hence the point X is in the half open interval from U to X, which is contained in its closure, which is the closed interval from U to X, 
which is in turn contained in the half open interval from A to X. And finally, case four, the point X is both the least element and the greatest element. And so in this case, the simple, simply ordered set X is the singleton, and the basis element is also the singleton, which is both open and closed. And hence the point X is in the singleton containing it, which in turn is contained in its closure. As it is both open and closed, it is its own closure, and of course is a subset of itself. So in any case, there exists an open interval or correction, an open neighborhood V of the point X such that the closure of V is contained in the open neighborhood U and thus the space X is regular. So as a second corollary, we will prove that every second countable regular space is normal so proof Let x be a second countable regular space and let the subsets E and F be disjoint closed sets now as the space is regular for every point E in the closed set E notice that the set F is a closed set not containing it and so there exist open neighborhoods U of the point E and V of the closed set F such that the intersection of U and V is empty. That is, each point E in the set E has an open neighborhood. U not intersecting F further for every point E in the set E and for every open neighborhood U of the point E, there exists an open neighborhood W of the point E, such that the closure 
of W is contained in the set U. Now as the space is second countable, it has a countable basis. which we will denote script B. Now since the set W is open, for every point E in the set E, we can choose a basis element in this countable basis that contains the point and is itself contained in the open set W. And this way, we construct a countable collection of open sets containing the points of E whose closures do not intersect the set F and we'll denote it as the countable collection of the set's use of N. Similarly, we can construct a countable collection of open sets containing the points of F whose closures do not intersect the set E. And we'll denote it as the countable collection of sets V sub N, that is, the set U, which is the countable union of sets U sub N, and the set V, which is the countable union of the sets V sub N, are open neighborhoods of the closed sets E and F respectively unfortunately these sets need not be disjoint so now for every, or for a given, n, define u sub n prime to be the intersection of the set u sub n with the complement of the countable union from i equals 1 to n of the closures 
of the sets v sub i and define v sub n prime to be the intersection of the set v sub n with the complement of the countable union from 1 to n of the closures of the sets u sub i Notice that u sub n prime and v sub n prime are open as each is a finite intersection of open sets. Further, for every point E in the set E, there exists a set U sub n prime in the countable collection of such sets that contains the point E, since the point E is in the set U sub n for some index n, and the point E is not in the closure of the set V sub i for any index i in the range from 1 to n. Similarly, for every point f in the set f, there exists an element v sub n prime in the countable collection of such sets that contains the point f. And so the set u prime, which is the countable union of the sets u sub n prime and v prime, which is the countable union of the sets v sub n prime, are open neighborhoods of the closed sets E and F respectively. Now we will show that u prime and v prime are disjoint. So assume to the contrary that there exists a point x in the intersection of u prime and v prime. Then the point x is in the set u sub j prime and is also in the set v sub k prime for some indices j and k. So suppose that j is less than or equal to k, then from the definition of u sub j prime, the point x is in the set u sub j, and from the definition of v sub k prime, the point x is in the set v sub k, and since j is less than or equal to k, the point x is not in the closure of 
u sub j. This is a contradiction. Since if I point x is in the set u sub j, then that point is certainly in the closure of the point, or correction, the set u sub j. So now suppose that k is less than or equal to j, then from the definition of v sub k prime, the point x is in the set v sub k, and from the definition of u sub j prime, the point x is in the set u sub j, and since k is less than or equal to j, the point x is not in the closure of v sub k. Once again, this is a contradiction. And hence, by contradiction, u prime and v prime are disjoint. And thus, the space x is normal.